there are currently between 80 and 100 homeless male asylum seekers living on Grand Canal after it was cleared of tents, sheltering international protection applicants twice in the last month. However, the group represents just a fraction of almost 2,000 people still waiting offers of state-provided shelter. So where is everyone else? So apparently, out of the 2,000 male asylum seekers that are registered to get a state funded or state prepared shelter asylum seekers out of the 2000 is only 80 to 100 they can find you know it is only a tree that hears that it will be cut down and is still standing waiting so apparently it seems like some of these asylum seekers are beginning to get themselves acquainted with the law and with the planned deportation that is coming in ireland and some of them is becoming a reality to them that they are already living in regrets that if they knew what they know now they wouldn't have come to Ireland because Ireland is just a have this population of five million people a small island of which even 14,000 of the Irish people are having accommodation issues so it simply means that either some of these people have gone underground some of these people are in the hiding or some of these people are in the street trying to find their way out either to leave Ireland or to do whatsoever their plan is trying to sort themselves out instead of being in this Grand Canal and waiting. However, this group represents just a fraction of almost 2,000 people. So this 80 to, 80 to 100 represents just a fraction of 2,000 male asylum seekers, of which 1,900 asylum male asylum seekers, nobody, state don't know where they are. It is a question that a group of volunteers supporting unaccompanied asylum seekers have been asking. You don't have anyone taking an overall view of who is in a hostel, who is on a person's couch, who is sleeping inside a church, who is on the streets, and who is in a different city. That's what we are trying to establish at the moment because we think it is a massive protection risk not to understand where these people are and who is the most vulnerable volunteer Oliver Hudson said yes what he said he made a whole lot of sense because if you don't have people who is controlling where these people are sleeping where they are then you cannot give appropriate uh, information about them and you it will be very difficult for you to determine who really needs the protection and who don't so he's making a whole lot of sense one Somalia international protection applicant who has been in Ireland since March and is sleeping rough in Dublin city centre told Aruti E News how he and his friend pitched their tent after midnight most nights around the Chalamont area and the Harcourt area but in the morning they pack up and leave. So this asylum seeker from Somalia was telling the reporter Aruti E News how him and his friends they pitch their tents at night, they sleep there. In the morning, they remove them and life goes on. So it is. it means that Irish government have to change their approach. They have to do more in terms of securing where these people are. They are keeping them temporarily till they decide their case. And they need to be able to do more for their own citizens because the frustrations are growing. And truth be told, some of these migrants should equally learn to conduct themselves, abide by the rules and regulations and the laws in Ireland. Because it's more annoying when you go to a person's country, they are trying to tolerate you, to accept you temporarily, your case is decided, and you go about breaking the laws, trying to import or force your own culture on them. They have their own culture, they have their own tradition, if you're going to their country, you want to live in their country, you have to respect the rules and regulations. You have to abide by their culture. That is the truth because it's their country. Yes, that's why some of the Irish people are feeling the way they are feeling because of the history they have. Some of them have in their feeling that it's like history is repeating itself and their government need to know more, do more for this history not to repeat itself once more again.